By now you should have already been pivoting your marketing, not pausing it. Uh, we know coming through the coronavirus, this is a unique situation. We've never seen anything like this before, which means that your content and your marketing should have shifted accordingly. And it need to, you should be making sure that it's highly relevant to where your audience is right now. So now that you've pivoted, what next? Now you need to take careful notice of what is happening on, um, around you and particularly when it comes to what your clients are actually wanting from you. So what information are they asking for currently? What are the common questions that you're getting from them? What are their pain points at this particular moment given everything that they're juggling and the things that are going on around them? So when it comes to your marketing, you need to now be moving into the next phase. So we've gone through this initial panic phase and then this adjustment phase, and then we're sort of heading into a bit of a, a new normal, so to speak. So your marketing also needs to reflect that, but it also needs to be based on what's happening with your target audience and what they need right now, not necessarily what you want to give them. So take some time to consider the environment Consider what you're hearing and the feedback and the conversations that you're having with your clients and that's going to help you determine what it is they're going to need from you right now to help them drive their business forward because at the end of the day, this is all about them, not you. So when it comes to your marketing, yes, we've, instead of pausing, which we shouldn't have done, we need to be pivoting. Now we need to be looking at what these next steps are over the next month to six weeks to see what that's gonna look like for your individual business. Hopefully that helps. I'm Tanya Williams from Digital Conversations and never let anyone die your sparkle.